Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at a wireless Bluetooth receiver. So what is this device for? It's actually useful for a lot of things like being able to bring audio from your phone to places that you wouldn't be able to normally. So in this video we're going to unbox it, take a closer look and I'm going to show you a few examples of how you can use this. Alright, so this wireless receiver is made by a company called Impal and it's actually quite a popular company and they make a lot of products. So this is the model number BH298A. So it's pretty slim package. In the back here we have a little picture of the receiver and we can see that there's a answer call and pause and play button on there. Alright so let's open it up. Have a little tab to pull. Very nice. So we greet it with a little card here. Dream Explore Inspire. So it's a company card that you can get a hold of them if you have any questions. Alright so you guys can see how neatly this is packed and looks like we have the receiver here and it's actually smaller than I thought it was going to be. For some reason I was thinking it was bigger because of how large it is on the uh, box here. But that is a good thing that it's small and it is encased in the foam pad here. And it looks like there is a manual behind it. But let's go ahead and check this out real quick. Wow guys, this thing is quite small and slim actually. Tiny and it's quite lightweight also. So there's the button we have and it looks like it might be illuminated because I can see a ring around it. So on one of the sides we can see there's an AUX output I guess that's what that is. So this is where your audio will come out to wherever you're trying to connect to. Let's say your vehicle. So we do have a USB plug under here. So I'm kind of curious does it always need to be powered? So we're going to check out what that does in a second. So on the other flat end here we have the on and off switch and then we have a volume button up and down. Well, that's interesting. So having these volume buttons actually makes me kind of curious if you can plug in some headphones in here and actually listen to that. We'll explore a few options of what we can do with this thing. Let's see what else is in the box here. So we got quite a hefty manual. A very nice one. It explains what everything does. Kind of breaks down all the functions here. And here's the specifications. And it looks like we do have a battery inside. Alright, and it does connect through Bluetooth. And it also looks like you can make calls through this, which it probably has a mic maybe then. And it does have a microphone. It is on the top here, that little dot right there. So you can actually talk to this thing. Very interesting. All right, so we have some more documentation here. A little warning about batteries. And then here's an interesting one. It says that the sound of the quality might be degraded while you are charging. And I've definitely had this happen, you know, when you plug the charger into something. Sometimes that affects the audio. And that's what they're talking about here. So if you're going to be charging and listening, there could be some degradation there. All right, so it looks like we have a couple more things in here. So we do have a double-sided stick pad here. And this looks like probably is to, you know, if you want to permanent stick this thing somewhere. So it does come with a USB to micro USB and that is to charge it and that simply just plugs into the device. And we also have another wire that is used for carrying the signal to an AOX port and that'll simply plug into here and then this is your output and you can put this in your car, you can put this in your stereo or wherever you want the sound to go from your phone to this thing and then out to this wire. And so we do have one more piece in the box and this is the same thing as the cable is just a really short male to male plug and that'll simply just go into here and then you have a really short connector here for the audio output. So let's say you want to connect this to your home theater or your sound system you would just plug this in like that you know and it'll be neatly tucked away somewhere because this thing's quite light. So All right and that's everything in the box so let's go ahead and plug this thing in the charger and see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it and there we go, we have a red light that lights up. So that indicates charge. All right guys, so while this thing is charging, let's go ahead and power it on and try to connect it to the phone. So I toggled it to the on switch and we can see that it looks like it's in pairing mode, blinking between red and white. So let's go to our Bluetooth on our phone and you guys can see all the devices I got on here. So if we go all the way down, we we'll, should be able to find the new device and it's probably this, BH298. All right, so let's try that out. I'll click it and it looks like it paired and that's indicated that it's a white solid there okay so if I click anything it'll it the light comes on but it doesn't stay on I guess to preserve battery life which is a good thing because you want this thing to last as long as possible on battery all right very cool so we are connected to our phone so let's go ahead and go to the car and see if we can play some music all right guys so I'm in the car so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to hook up this little Bluetooth to the AOX and the AOX in this car is located here in the center console right down there so we have a couple options we can use this hard adapter here or we can use the cable so I went ahead and changed it to the cable the one that was provided and we're just gonna simply plug into our AOX port just like that and they should be connected so all I gotta do is place them and we got ads of course 
All right, so the video is playing and I'm putting up the volume. So right now all the sound is coming from the phone to this receiver and then to the car through the wire. And the sound quality seems to be really good. Let's try to mess with this volume button here. Okay, so I can make it quieter or I can make it louder. Actually quite a bit louder, wow. So it started at about medium somewhere, but you can definitely make it a lot louder. Okay, that looks like it's loud, the loudest. It peeps. All right, so that seems to be working really good. Let's see if this uh, pause button works. Okay, so it did pause the video. So if I click it again, it resumes it. Very cool. All right, well that's pretty cool. I'm kind of curious now if we can hook up some headphones to this and see how that'll work. All right, so let's just say you have some headphones and they're not Bluetooth, which these actually are, but we're not going to be using the Bluetooth part, so they're completely off. But you can grab any kind of headphones technically and you should be able to plug them in into the output of the receiver here and power them for sound. All right, so let's use our cable, plug the other end into the phones. Still got that video and it's still connected, so I'm gonna push play. And it is playing and I can hear the phones. And it's actually quite loud. See if I can bring it to the mic. From one hot end or one nozzle. And do a few prints. All right, so let's get started. All right, so it works. Excellent. And I can adjust the volume, I would think, so let's go. I think I'm all the way up right now. Okay, I'm all the way up. Let's go down. So I'm just holding it, and it's slowly, gradually going down. Now I'm holding it up again. Alright, so you guys can see how well that works. And these are big phones and it's powering them really loud. So you could also use this little receiver here to power any kind of headphones. So let's say you have your favorite pair of headphones but they're not Bluetooth, this thing can solve the problem of connecting them. So as you can see guys, this thing can be used for a lot of different things. I can see a lot of people using this in their older cars that don't have Bluetooth compatibility, you know, this kind of solves the issue there. So. And you could use this as a phone answering also because it does have a mic, so that's kind of nice. And this little guy does have 12 hours of playtime, so once you fully charge the battery, you can use it for 12 hours. So that's pretty good for how tiny it is. Alright guys, so if you want to pick up one of these for yourself, I'll have some links in the description, so check that out. It's from Amazon. And if you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, I do a lot of product reviews and other interesting things on this channel, and you're not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button to see more. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.